show you how you can build. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven types of Lego spinners. Number eight. Number. I'm gonna go from easy, easiest to hardest. Let's go. So first, uh, the first one you need this little piece. It, it's in any color. Then you need this piece any color. Put it together. Get a cylinder piece any color, and put it on top. And you may see some Lego there. You know. And then it spins. It's the smallest one that I figured out. But if you want, you can try it. It's very easy and with very common Lego parts. <sighs> next, I'm gonna do the next one, which might be hard to get the pieces. So that's why it's number two. So first you need this little piece that you can find with lots of Lego sets. Most likely. Most likely with big sets. Or tall. Then you need this wheel piece from old Lego sets from back in the day. Put this in the middle of it. Like like these. And then people you can then, then, it spins. I'm gonna put it in this box, a container. See. You see? It spins very well, and it's very easy, but not you need to get the part. So you got two down. Now we gotta do number three. So I'm going to show you. <laughs> now I'm gonna show you. So first you need another one of these. Any color again. I just have mine in green. I mean clear. Then you need any of these two by two cylinder pieces. The one for the smaller kind is a one by one cylinder. You could use any version. Then you need this giant big Lego piece here. Any color, any ver kind of the same piece. And then put it on, put another one of the these, but any, and you can do any other kind or the same. And then, and it spins very nicely. And this helps it spin, because if you don't, have it. It's just like a little mighty bean without any printing. And it can't spin, but it can do a little lance. So if you don't have this, you could just turn it into a little mighty bean. We don't have any. <laughs> but I have a lot. As you've seen in previous videos. Next, I'm going to show you their first ever kind I made. Oh no, I think it's stuck. Ah, there we go. So first you need this 
long stick Lego stick piece. Any color. Then stick it in this four by four cylinder piece like this. Then stick it in. You see it's gonna stay and not go all the way. Then you need um then you need this little Technic piece. Put it on the stud of it. It's very common too. Then you take this kind that you could put on top of these kind a four by four comb piece and you just slide it on. Last thing you do, take this little two by two round plate with a hole in it, place it inside right on and then it goes. And it spins very nicely. The first kind I ever made. Very easy. Hmm. So this is the next one. So it's going to be a little tougher with the the rest so I'm doing this guy to make these little Lego spinners so you don't need to buy them spinners and you can just build with Lego oh I need it wrong so I'm taking some of these apart and rebuilding to show you all. Okay, this is difficult. Leave a comment below if you're watching Sonic X. On Netflix. See what I did there? So... Firstly, you need another one of these. Yes, I use it a lot. Very few times. With, like, for example, with these, I don't because that's just how it is. Then you, then you need this. It. A two by, two, and this is the the name of this is a two by two pe round piece, but you can't connect, so it's like this, and the same, but you can connect it to stuff the normal one with this little Technic bit inside to put Technic like this but that's not how you do it you put it on a giant plate like this I just have pink yeah I don't know why but it's the only color I can have it then you need this piece mm -hmm. two by two, two flat plate but only but it has a stud in the middle you put it in the middle of it. Put a two by two round piece, a two by two round flat piece, but with a hole in it in the middle. And then you need to put this Technic pole with a stud on it right jab in the middle it spins very well just don't make sure it makes contact with other lego 
to go. The next one is pretty much the same thing with the other one. Don't question me. The reason why I'm doing this is not just so all of you people who don't know can do, is because my daddy said it's a good idea to make tutorial videos for my builds. So I'm going to do small stuff because it's hard to remember so, so yeah. So first, you need, wait, where's the piece I need, oh yes, first you need another one. And then you need another one of these. Then you need a full baby, 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 that's what I like to call it. Right on it. And make sure it connects to the outer area. Now this is where it gets a little, how do you say, different from the other. The other one has dark gray of this. This one has a light gray. That's how my just my choice. You put any color. This one has brown piece. This one has gray. But other than that, it's the same. I made two of these. Because I have enough stuff to make two. So, yeah, you can make as many of these as you want. So, that is number five and six. Now, wait. Um, no, seven and. What do you want? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's time for the last one. It's gonna be hard to make hard. It's gonna be hard, hard, hard. Yeah. I'll pause the video because it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna do a lot of modifications. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so with this one, you need another one. I'll use two by two ones with these with this the same but you know put it together just have it like this and put with this combination again but with the stick now these cheese little pieces that they're called with this four by four square piece put this right at the bottom and also put this pull up top and spins So that's it. I have a child. I know. Who does it? Next time. Wait. Wait. I might make mine. I'm going to try to make more.